All right, Shalom, this is Gamaliela out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Wadash, Devil to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, coming at you with a quick lesson. All right, and uh, this is going to be a response uh, to a video by the brother Atazawam. All right, our camp head in here in uh, GMS Atlanta. All right, and um, the brother did um, a lesson called um, the deflect demon, all right, um, which, you know, what he was saying was very true, you know, um, when a lot of times when men are taking reproof, all right, um, you know, their pride gets in the way, and uh, you always try to uh, justify yourself, all right, and uh, you always um, look for a reason to explain yourself because you're cut, all right, um, now, real quick, uh, getting the definition of uh, deflect, okay? All right, and um, this is uh, deflect, come from the Latin word uh, de, meaning away, uh, flector, to bend, okay? All right, uh, so it means to bend away from, all right, uh, to cause... Cause someone to deviate from an intended purpose, uh, cause someone to change orientation, divert, sidetrack, okay? All right, um, now, if you're deflecting, right, that means you, you, you're going off, okay? You're going astray, all right? Um, you know, when, when you deflect, basically, you know, you're going off. You're deviating from the path, okay? You're div diverting from the path, right? Because, you know, like I said, your pride gets hurt for whatever reason, you know, and uh, like the brother said, you know, we we just been uh, in America too long, you know, where we get in our feelings and, and feel like no one can tell us anything, you know, which that's not the, uh, that's not a, a spirit that is uh, reflective of a man of the Lord, okay? All right, now I'm going to go straight into it. Uh, let's go to uh, Proverbs 5 uh, and 21. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. All right. Now, we know that we have angels watching us. OK, we have uh, angels, you know, that are that are um, here to to watch our every move okay angels are messengers all right so they're basically reporting our move to the most high all right now it says um for the ways of man are are before the eyes of the lord and he pondereth all his going so even if you know you feel like you're justified in, in a particular situation right well the lord knows your heart okay the lord knows that you know when if, if you're trying to justify yourself right then then that's coming from a position of pride right so i'm gonna keep going it says his own iniquity shall take the wicked himself and he shall be holding with the cords of his sins all right so so your own iniquities and your own sins are gonna trap you okay all right uh you know scriptures also say um by uh by your mouth uh, shall you be justified or condemned, just roughly paraphrasing, right? All right, so, you know, like I said, the Lord knows our hearts and intentions, all right? So he knows, you know, out of out of your reasoning and justification for whatever it is, you know, he knows that, he knows if that's out of pride, you know, which nine times out of ten, it is out of pride, okay? So it says, uh, he shall die without instruction and in greatness, in the greatness of his folly, sh he shall go astray. All right. Which, you know, that's ultimately the, the result of what happens when you don't take reproof and correction is eventually you do die. You know, because, you know, what we're involved in is life, life and death. All right. So if you are too proud and can't take correction and, you know, you just always uh, uh, in the spirit of. Um, 
you know, just in the spirit of, of defending yourself and you always being right, then, then you can never be corrected. All right. You, you basically are eventually going to have to be judged, which that judgment is going to be death. Now it says, uh, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. All right. Which we just read that that word deflect. I'm going to go back to it. The word deflect means to cause to deviate from an intended purpose. Okay. To change orientation. All right. Now that deflect demon, basically, you know, you're avoiding. Okay. You are trying to deviate from an intended purpose. Here it is. The, in, the, the intended purpose was, you know, to correct you of whatever, whatever it is you were going off on. Right. But you're trying to cause to deviate. All right. Uh, distract. You're basically trying to distract and draw away from the intended purpose, which is which was you and your issue. Right. OK, so uh, let's go to. Uh, now, let's go to Sirach seven and five. It says, uh, justify not thyself before the Lord. And boast not of thy wisdom before the king. All right. Now, like we just uh, um, went into, you know, justifying yourself. Okay. You know, you shouldn't be so ready to justify yourself or, or um, you know, give, give an excuse. Okay. All right. And the scriptures tell you about making excuses. All right. Matter of fact, I can find it. All right, but it says, justify not thyself before the Lord, okay? Because we know that when, when, uh, uh, we know that when, when the Lord, when men get on us, okay, men around us, brothers, uh, are getting on us, all right, we know that that's the spirit of the Lord, okay? So if you're justifying yourself to that man, that means that ultimately, you know, well, if, if I'll say this, if you're defending yourself from that, from that brother that's getting on you, Ultimately, you know, you, you aren't hearkening unto the Lord. Okay. All right. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay. So beautiful. This is Sirach 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. All right. So a sinful man will not be reproved. Okay. He won't take he won't take and accept the correction and, and you know, take the low. OK, even if he is uh, uh, right in a situation, which in most times he's wrong. OK, but, you know, in the few rare exceptions where a man is justified. All right. He should be taking the low. OK says, a sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. So it's easy to uh, jump on video and and like the elder, uh, the elder Yashawamba said, you know, with these guys, um, uh, Adam Abbott, you know, and, and, you know, spirit has been um, having us bring up this guy a lot. All right. Because he's the perfect example of someone who isn't taking correction. OK, he's not. He's finding an excuse, okay? He's leaning on, uh, he's leaning on other people, you know, other Israelites to jump on the comment boards to, you know, justify himself. All right, it says, but he findeth an excuse according to his will. So, like I said, it's easy for you to jump on video and and you know, paint your story, you know, just like uh, whenever you hear someone's story. Right. They all what do they do? They always tell their side. Right. They always say, you know, well, you know, this happened and blah, 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 blah. And they tell their side. But you always see once you see the other once you hear the other side, you see that. Oh, I see what happened. OK, well, you see that they weren't telling the whole truth. You know, they weren't telling the whole situation and they didn't really tell. They didn't really go into full detail about what they did. OK. And that's what you see a lot, you know, a common uh, trend among people who uh, defend themselves and justify themselves is they don't tend, to, they tend to not tell the whole truth, you know. 
All right, but it says, uh, actually, let me see. go to the next preset. All right, it says, um, my son, 13, uh, like it, Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Okay. So it says, uh, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Okay. So we ultimately know, like I said, when, when brothers are getting on you for whatever reason, we know that it's the chastening of the Lord. We know that it's coming from the Lord. Okay. So it says, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of correction. All right. So we know what we're into. Okay. We know that the walk that we're on is going to require a lot of correction and it's well needed. Okay. You know, we have a lot of ways about ourselves that we have to cleanse. Okay. You know, we have a lot of uh, pride that we have to get off of our spirit. All right. Now it says, despise not the tra chastening of the Lord. Okay. You know, so don't, don't despise, um, don't despise, uh, when, when you, when you're being corrected. Okay. You should love it. Okay. Be cheerful. All right. Be cheerful when, when, you know, you have to get, uh, uh got on. Okay. When you have to get told about yourself. All right. All right. So, uh, let me see. Actually, yeah, verse 12. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as the even as a father. It's like even as a father, the son in whom he delight delighteth. All right. All right. So whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. So if you are being corrected, right, then you know that's that's a good thing, okay? That means the Lord is dealing with you, okay? All right, because, we, you know, like the brother Tyler Wam said, we're not going to be perfect in this walk, okay? There's always going to be things where we're going to uh, fall and, 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 you know, misstep, okay? You know? Um, hold on. Park, you can park in the garage? Yeah, I know. Garage opening. Uh... Okay, okay. So, you know, uh... There's always going to be things, there's always going to be room for, for being, you know, uh, being better. There's always going to be room for correction, all right? Because if we were perfect, we would have been delivered already, all right? You know, if we were, if we were just perfect, perfect and absolutely perfect, you know, Yahweh Shai would have delivered us already, okay? All right, let me see. I think I have one more, then I'll close up. This is... Uh... Um, okay, so rock two and four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate, okay? All right, so that goes into taking cheerfully, okay? You know, which we all know that it hurts, you know, to be told about yourself, all right? You know, when when your pride is, is hurt, all right, that, that is a deep cut, Okay? You know, when, when, you know, it's embarrassing, okay, you know, especially when uh, certain things, you know, happen uh, in front of uh, the body, okay, when you get uh, uh, got on in front of the body and, and whatnot, you know, you know, it, 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 it stings, you know, it's not easy, all right, but it says take cheerfully because, like I said, ultimately it's for, it's for your improvement, all right. And it also means that Yahweh Shmiel Shai is dealing with you, all right? You know, because um, it says, uh, whom he loveth, he's corrected. All right, so if the Lord loves you, he's going to correct you, and he's going to make sure that you're on the right path, all right? And, and you know, don't deflect, all right? Just just take the low. It says, uh, be patient when thou art brought, when, I, when thou art changed to a low estate. So be patient, okay? You don't know the turnout, Okay? You know, the, if you take the low uh, in a particular situation, all right, with, with through the spirit, right, then the Lord may see you through, okay? If, if you're justified in the situation, be patient. You know, don't be so uh, so ready to give reason or, or act like, you know, uh, you know, you're right, okay? Because like I said, I mean, if... if, if 
if in a particular situation, you know, you're justified, right? Then it's going to be made known uh, through the spirit, okay? It's going to come out through the spirit, all right? You know, but don't deflect and don't, you know, always uh, uh, give an excuse as to, you know, why, all right? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Lord willing, you buzz, will edified, and double honors to our elders and apostles.